Hi there Pisces, thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and we're looking at December 1st through December 7. So it's the first week of the last month of 2014. I finally got that right. And it's very much a fire and air week. Mercury, Venus and the Sun are all shining in Sagittarius. And that is your 10th house of career and reputation and social status. So make the most of it. If you find yourself bored out of your mind at a holiday party, check out what's happening around you. Work out who's in charge of HR or, you know, maybe you're at a joint Christmas party or something like that and you can talk to the head honcho of some other department and land yourself a transfer. It's amazing how things can happen and this is a very good time for you. Also Jupiter in Leo is transiting your eighth house of joint resources and joint partnerships so it is a good time also to start thinking about going into business with someone. It's something that you've talked about before or going out on your own and working from home and not working for the man because not everyone is cut out to do so and being a Pisces you're very creative, very spiritual, very artistic and not everybody gets that. Now there's a Gemini full moon this week and that's transiting your fourth house of home and family. Coming to a resolution most likely about something that's going on in the place you live. It could be a flatmate situation where you have been dancing around the subject of asking them to move out or knowing that they were going to ask you to move out. And finally, with the holidays here and relatives coming and the end of the year in sight, this is the time when that discussion could very well happen and it's up to you to handle that discussion. And if you've known it's coming, not to get too upset about it because you knew it was going to come. You knew that they were going to ask you to move out. Start looking now for a place of your own, hopefully, that you can afford if that's the case. And if it's the case that you're the one saying you need to be out by the end of the year, make sure that you know you're being fair about it. You don't want that bad karma coming back on you and that you didn't give them enough time. Because with under the full moon, it's a very definite decision, whatever way you decide. If you decide to, to ask someone to leave, if you're asked to leave, it's happening. It's not going to be reversed. So don't think it's going to be. Mars, the planet of energy and the planet of focus, the planet that makes us zero in on something or someone, has, is moving into Aquarius this week. Your 12th house of past karma, subconscious and self-renewal. This is definitely a time when something or someone from your past could reappear over the next six weeks. Whether or not that's a good thing or a bad thing, it depends, but obviously it'll be an interesting thing. And for those of you who know already who I'm talking about and who have been stalking that said person on social media, keep the memories of the good times and the bad times very lucid and present. As a Pisces, you tend to bury the bad stuff under the carpet or refuse to acknowledge that it happened. Tune in to a friend who knew the blow-by-blow -blow description of how it all went down and have them remind you just so you don't fall into a bad habit. Have a great week, great speaking to you, and I will speak to you again next week, Pisces.